Ken Stissel with CR Onjude, and today I'm going to give you a machine walkthrough of our X-Series Profile Machining Center designed for the drilling, tapping, milling, and sawing of aluminum extrusions. Currently we have two models of Profile Machining Centers. We have the X-Series and the Extreme X-Series, also known as the EX-Series. The major differences between the two being spindle horsepower, capacity, options, and of course, price point. In general, the Extreme X-Series is the super heavy duty model with a 24 horsepower spindle, 550 millimeter saw blade capacity, and servo driven independent clamp positioning, all as standard. The X-Series has a 17 horsepower spindle, 400 millimeter saw blade capacity, and manual positioning clamps as standard. Both are capable of a variety of fabricated aluminum extruded products, such as window and door frames, truck trailers, utility trailers, campers, electric vehicles, boats, boat trailers, staging equipment, trade show booths, basically for any industry using aluminum extrusion. So let's take a closer look at the X-Series and get into the details of a profile machining center. First, let's talk about the design and build of this machine. It's a dual column moving gantry with enclosure. The base is made out of heavy duty welded steel and is designed to allow for a variety of model lengths, starting from 13 feet and going all the way out to 74 plus feet. Down the center of the base, we have a conveyor for chip and scrap removal. Moving across the base, we have the high speed gantry which is also made out of heavy duty welded steel and has a sheet metal enclosure for chip containment and of course safety. This machine comes standard with the legendary user-friendly Fanuc 31 IB5 control and components, which bar none are the best in the industry because of things like lifetime parts availability and serviceability. With Fanuc, you never have to worry about an obsolete control. All right, now one of the major benefits of a profile machining center is quick setup and changeover. For width adjustment, simply move the rear clamp into position. And for profile changes, simply change out the jaw. Each clamp has rollers to allow for bringing in material from either end or supporting the material for load and unload. When it comes to clamp placement, we have an LED light strip which shows the operator where to place each clamp. We also have options for auto positioning of the clamps. Thank you for joining me on this walkthrough of the X-Series Profile Machining Center. Now let's see this machine in action.